All right, my country, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I call it to your time, Zoom. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys have come back to MC Potoski Talk Show here yeah, on YouTube, where you get the latest news and entertainment around the world. If it's your first time on this great platform where we react to all videos that comes our way, please consider to subscribe and Put on your thumb bell, and if you love what we do on this great platform, why don't you give us a thumbs up and also share this video? I appreciate all my subscribers. We got Almighty, we bless you guys. And if you have anything to say about this video, you can also drop your comment at the comment section, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, without wasting more time, guys, let's dive into this video. President elect or President select. I, uh, they have, the ANEC disappointed the whole nation, including myself. We were disappointed. All the youths, they came out to vote, and you know that what me and you vote was not what transpired. So when you say president elect, I cannot even say anything about it. Even the, 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 the swearing in is still a forgery. I wonder a, 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 an, a, an institution you want to build on a cracked and corrupt practices. What do you what will you expect from it? So my brother, I don't want to go further. This nation is making everybody is angry about the nation. Few cabals are just manipulating the whole country and we m keep on moving and looking at them. No, everybody, me personally, I'm angry. So take it like that. Nigerians are found of seeing all this rubbish. Somebody will be this yesterday, nobody cares about him. But when the victory gets at hand, they, st they start condemning, saying a lot of rubbish. So if Bolatilbu has all this, where must he be a governor sometimes? Where must he be controlling the, 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 I mean, a, a lot of. I mean, even the, government, even the government of this country is part of it from the beginning. Why can't they say anything about it that time? So to me, it's a mere allegation and it will continue to be like that. So I, I wish him happy presidency. We cannot continue to deceive ourselves. And that is where we didn't get it right. Because anything that you are doing at the beginning, there are procedure and protocol. So if at the beginning, this man was being satisfied by INEC, go ahead, register with INEC, and by electoral law, he was confirmed. It was known that he now voted by majority of Nigerians. And now allegation now has come after the election. Who are these people? And where are, where are they at the beginning that they could not raise this issue, this matter, not until now? He's not the only person. Such allegations has been there. Even our last, uh, the, 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 the present president that we are having, who is about to handle to a new elected president. Such allegations have been there. So, you know, it has been a Nigeria factor. Don't forget, whether you like it or not, even as I am talking to you, your credibility has stage that I know that you are credible. And that is why you are a journalist. But by the time you happen to find yourself in a certain position, don't forget, criticism and so many things will count. So nobody knows. Only God knows. And only God knows what, they, what I'm trying to say. Whether who is sin in this who is sin in this country? Who is sin? Who does not have one thing or the other? What I expected Nigerians at this time around is to wish this man how he can stay in his office and begin to look at the challenges that we are having in this country. Challenges of insecurity, challenges of how our children that we are yeah, given birth, how they can get best education without going on strike, how you can reform certain things, including our education, including our hospitals. These are some of the things that I want Nigerians to begin to wish him good luck. Done.
unnecessary things that are not support you know based on the investigation or should i call it um, allegation on the president elect the point is that there's a lot on him after this election even before the election then after the election ordinarily my own opinion is that he would have just remained an elder statement. You understand? Because with all this allegation here and there, I wonder what he will be telling our younger ones to, you know, what advice will he be giving us at the end of the day? You understand? If I will even advise him, if he remains the elder statement and the kingmaker, he will have more, you know, more respect after life. He will have more dignity for himself and his family and friends. But all this one that you know you see stories here and there concerning him the drug issue now the passport the dual citizenship and you're talking about the oath that he took you know that he has only one but now we'll find out that there's two now uh, we're talking about the rigging during the election a lot of things on his own he knows that he did not win this election that is life yes the the court the the, the case is in court but to me i respect him as an elderly man i respect what he has done in the past but let him just retire I, he is even older than my dad and as as i am when an Igbo man gets to 70 80 to some extent the children will say come back home and retire from whatever business you're doing i see him as, as a grandfather i see him as a father i see him as a great grandfather so he should relax and give us the momentum to lead this nation as young youths as energized youth give us that advice we need from a grandfather from a father you understand so with all this case here and there it's not good for his image he has done well in the past he should just retire and yeah, say i am okay with whatever uh, i have done for this nation let me just rest and you know rest well as an elderly man in a uh, legal parliament do i know a lawyer we said the judiciary remains the common hope of the ordinary man uh, in nigeria we don't really know that we can even situate that situation to mean that because the justice system look at who you are what you are your political exposure and all that but i will not say that that should not be said that the justice system is not a system to be re rely on uh, that is the hope and that is the only system that keep democratic system together so no matter what um prejudice or what allegation has been said about uh the president elect or whosoever i think i would ask nigerians to be patient and wait for the court to to disperse the issue uh, there is no tribulation coming before the public and say the president is that yes as a citizen you have a right of it do i carry citizens of citizenship of another country so if the president has a dual citizenship it is his right and notice the law we have not had the position of the law about that at least the judiciary now interprets what it means to that to the federal republic of nigeria constitution then we can draw a stand thank you for watching that video we appreciate and this is where i'll be leaving you guys but if this is your first time on this great channel please do it to subscribe and put on your notification bell so that whenever we upload any video for this great channel you will be the first person to see the video so guys See you guys some other time.